This video is intended for mature audiences aged 13 and above. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to review the top 10 most expensive pencil sets in the world. The way I arrived at the price was the average price. I did about 40 hours worth of research into this video and I was able to take four or five different prices and average them out for one individual set. So the prices for the set, you may see a little bit higher or a little bit lower on the internet. If you haven't figured out buying pencil sets yet, you must shop around. There was over a hundred dollar difference between the highest and the lowest prices I was able to find on the internet. And Amazon isn't necessarily the cheapest place. Some places had it really low. I was looking at Blix, Amazon, um, Jerry's Autorama, eBay, and believe it or not, Macari had some of the best prices out there. So when looking at these sets, you must shop around. And that's why I gave you the median price. So you have a bouncing off place to know that they will be higher and they will be lower. So let's get on with it. Ten. Coming in at number 10 is the Karen Diash Pablo Wood set. This is a beautiful set. The, I have the pencils, as you can see, and they're really nice pencils. They're not my favorite pencils, but they do work really well with watercolor. The wood case is nice, but I'm going to be honest, and I hate to start out with a negative, especially at the beginning, because I promise I will get positive. <laughs> the average price being $306 for this case. The design of the case I found to be no big deal. These pencils run about $185, so it's roughly doubled for the price of this set in the wood case. In looking at just this, I would say it's a very nice case. It's finished nice with the gold and the dark brown, but as this video progresses, you're going to see some designs that are much nicer than this. To me, this is just a box. It came with three pull-out trays. It's the same design as the metal tin. There's nothing special about it. And for the price, the metal tin was just as functional. I want the wood box to be an improvement upon the regular metal tins that normally come with, with the colored pencils. So I'm going to put my thumb down on the first one. Pencils are really good for the $185 rather than spending so much on just the box. Polychromos 120 set in the wood case is beautiful. And it's actually a decent price if you take a look at it. The average price for a polychromo set runs around $169. For this set with the wood case, it's $339.95. So you it's around double for the price. If you take a look at the wood case, it really does have a nice design. The carrying handle looks very smooth and sleek. And it looks like it's very easy on the hands. It's made out of brushed nickel. And it has a very unique locking system that I thought was very stylish. When you open up the set... It opens up to two tiers, which allows you to see the entire array of pencils. So it does save space. And when you're able to see all the pencils at the same time, you're more apt to use more pencils and more colors. So I really give this two thumbs up. This was a good price for what you're getting. Eight. Coming in at number eight is the Faber-Castell Art and Graphic Collection. And here is where the packaging really shined. It appears to be a very good quality. The upper drawer lifts up and stays up so that you can see what's underneath and on top. And what I loved about this is the sides pull out and you've got an extension for other supplies. When this closes up and you lock it, the mechanism locks the two side drawers so that when you're carrying this, it doesn't open up and spill. The average price was for $349, and the average price without the case came out to be around $218. So for, for under $150, you really have a case that will keep your supplies intact probably forever. 
The Faber-Castell Art Graphics Collection features 36 polychromos, 36 Alberic Durp watercolors, 36 polychromos art pastels, graphic pencils, blenders, erasers, sharpener, and a paintbrush for the watercolors. All of these supplies come stock, so you can keep refilling this set. And I do think it is a good price for what you're getting. Seven. Coming in at number seven is the Karen Dash Luminous pencil set. It has 76 pencils and it comes in a wood box, much like the Pablo's with pull-out trays. There are three trays. Now, the average price for this set, the wooden set, is $438. I've seen it higher, I've seen it lower, not by much. The average price without the case is only $182. And again, this is the same example as the Pablo's. There is nothing more that's going to enhance this set, having it in the wood box, than it would in the tin. So for $182, I can have the pencils for the $438 price tag, there just really isn't enough of an incentive with the design of this box to justify that price. In at number six is the Holbein 150 in the wooden case. If you've never drawn with a Holbein pencil, you have missed out on one of the greatest drawing experiences ever. The pencil is, is both wax and oil, creamier than Prismacolor. It holds its shape like polychromos. Pigments are rich, beautiful, vibrant. And now let's talk about the downside. They're very pricey, and there's a good reason for that price. They're no longer imported into the United States. You can find a couple of sets out there in Cyberland. You can't get them on Amazon. You can't find them in Blix or any of the major retailers for pencils where you would think you would get a good price. You can find individual sellers that may have a set or two left that are willing to stretch it a little and import them into the United States for you. You are going to pay big bucks. This set averages for $439. If you want to buy it in the cardboard box, average price is around $354. So it's only a $100 difference for the beautiful wood box that it does come in. There is another problem with because they're not imported into the United States, you can't get them in stock. So if you run out of a pencil, like I did with my set, I ran out of the white, you are basically out of luck. For a while, they were selling them on eBay for $25 a pencil for stock. There are rumors around that they did not pass inspection and that the cadmium levels in these pencils are at toxic levels. Five. And number five, we have the Caran d'Ache Museum Acuarella pencils. And they come in on an average price about $399.98. I saw them much higher than that, close to the $500, and I saw them lower. So this was an average price. I got this price off of Amazon. Again, the same problem with the box. I don't see any way of it enhancing your experience with the pencils. You still have to take the three trays out and find place on the desk for the three trays. The average price without the case is $209, which is probably a good price for the pencils. Um, the quality of these pencils is excellent. They work great with Pablo. These are watercolor pencils, and I included them on this list because the Caran d'Ache pencils really work well together. On to number four, which is the Caran d'Ache Super Color and Pablo Wooden Box, 160 pencils. You get 80 Pablo and 80 Supra, Supra being a watercolor pencil. So this is the perfect box for people who are doing mixed media. The box was made out of California cedar. Caran d'Ache is known for their super high quality pigments and their light fast ratings, which is excellent. Now, the average price for this box is $463. If you were going to buy these two sets separately, the average cost without the case is only $309. So you have to decide whether this cedar case is or isn't worth $172. 
I'm not sure if I would pay $172 for a cedar wood box, but that's me. Coming in at number three is the Derwent Fine Arts Pencil and Accessories Best of British Wooden Box with 165 pencils. Unfortunately, in the description, they didn't say what pencils, so I can't include that. This is a limited edition box. I saw it on Amazon. There was only one left. It contains a vast array. Well, a vast array of Derwent pencils. Well, if you're using Derwent, you're not the average run-of-the-mill coloring book artist. You're going to want to know what is exactly in this, especially at the price of nearly $700. This set included a couple of matchbox cars, a vintage metal sign, four UK floral emblem coasters. Sounds like something you would get into in a tourist shop. I don't see where that has anything to do with art, but I guess this is what they came up with. Uh, at the price, $6.92. Since I don't know what type of wood the box is, I don't particularly care for the color. I would have liked cherry wood or mahogany for that price. Uh, mahogany over cherry wood. So I'm going to give this a thumbs down. Coming in at number two is probably the most ridiculous thing on this list. And I don't mean to act salty, but it's a Louis Vuitton pencil carrier for $950 plus tax and shipping. So this brings the price up above $1,000. It is only sold on the Louis Vuitton site. This set has 40 pencils. And if you've seen any of the reviews on this they're no better than Prismacolor so you are basically paying for a Louis Vuitton pencil case maybe my attitude towards this is a little salty for a thousand dollars you can choose from any of the really good pencil sets if you're an artist so anybody that would be using these pencils aren't it isn't an artist they're uh, a spoiled rich kid who just has to have everything and wants to show off that they can color. I would imagine that they're only coloring in coloring books because there's not that many pencils in this set or this case. You could buy the same type of case for $25 off of Amazon that would hold these pencils, which are just average pencils from the review. Why anybody would buy this, I don't know. It's a nice thing to look at on the, uh, as a picture, as one of the most ridiculous things uh, spoiled rich kids can purchase with daddy's money. But I can't imagine anybody that's serious would buy this set. But it's for $1,000, and if you want to own a Louis Vuitton pencil set, for me, I would buy a $300 pencil set and donate $600 to charity. The number one most expensive set in the world is the Carl Box. This thing is gorgeous. I would actually consider buying because the design of the box is so beautiful and so practical that it almost makes it worth the money that you are paying for the box. The Carl Box was a collaboration between Carl Lagerfeld and Faber Castell. This was a limited edition box and contains 350 actual art supplies in the box. The design of the box is beautiful. Carl Lagerfeld was known for his high-end luxury items and this is definitely high-end. The box is sleek, black, and compact. Each drawer opens up to two tiers, so really you're getting 12 tiers of art supplies. First, it comes with 120 Alberic Dur watercolor pencils, 60 polychromos. I would have preferred 120. That would drive me crazy if I bought this box and I could only fit half of <laughs> because the polychromos comes in the 120 set. But it does come with 60 Polychromos Pastels, 60 Pit Artist Brush Pens, 13 Pit Fine Liners, 3 Pit Metallic Artist Pens, 12 Castell 9000 Graphic Pencils, 5 Castell 9000 Jumbo Graphic Pencils, 5 Graphite Aquarella Pencils, 
four pit graphite crayons, one watercolor brush, one Castell 9000 double hold sharpener, one dual metal pencil sharpener, one kneaded eraser, one dust free eraser, one sharpening knife, a sanding block, and a click and go water pot. This is both a stationary piece of furniture in anybody's art room and it could be taken on the go. But with all this quality, it does come with a price. Anywhere that you look on the internet, it's not available with any coupons. The price is set at $2,850. Now consider that the box is probably about $1,800. The supplies added up with everything that you have in there, probably about $1,000 in supplies. So piece of furniture itself is $1,850. Roughly, I didn't add it up, but just doing some of the math in my head, it kind of went that way. Would I spend that on a box? Yeah, considering my stuff is all over the place. Uh, yeah, to have everything in one place as organized and beautiful as this. Now, will I be buying this in the near future? No, <laughs> I don't think so. But it is something that is just magnificent. This is what a high-end box should look like. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell for all notifications. For another video just like this one, I recommend this. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Keep on coloring.